Hi everyone, welcome to Team Melody on my channel. Today on our program, we are going to be I'm going to be showing you how to make Nigeria butter bread. What we need for this recipe is or um, strong flour. You can use all purpose flour, but I prefer strong flour. Then butter dry yeast then I'm going to add this to it and uh, not make this one is personal touch but you can omit it if you don't need it okay so this is just what it needs just one this four ingredients you need flour strong flour butter dry yeast and a nuts make and of course you'll be needing a pan like this for the bread, which will be needing about two or three pounds like this for the quantity of flour that I'm using today. So for the quantity of these things I will be using, please you go to the description box. I will put it there for for you to know. But today I'm making one kilo of the flour because we need some bread at home. Okay, so what we are going to do now is first of foremost we have to we are going to put some hot water into this bowl just little water into the bowl we are going to activate the yeast you see the kind of yeast not the white powder normal baking powder this is dry yeast then you, you pour it into this place and you turn it like this it's remaining one of the ingredients sugar okay just remember now sugar so I want to add the sugar to the yeast just one spoon because it makes the yeast to activate on time okay so I'm going to cover it I'm going to use warm water not hot water warm water not hot water so I'm going to keep it here for it to activate so I'm going to wait for 10 minutes hi so we can see it's 10 minutes you can see that our uh, yeast have activated if your yeast does not have anything like this please throw it away don't use it it's going to square your work okay so now i'm going to we are, go, we are going to miss so you have to do shift your your flour like this okay just like this so I'm going to add the dried ingredients together. So this is the burnt milk. This is the sugar. I forgot to tell you before. Sugar. And this is, I'm going to put little salt just to make it taste. Then this is the butter so first i will mix all the dried ingredients together so if you have not subscribed to team melody or more tv please try as much as possible subscribe press the notification bell and like also and you can also leave your comment below okay if you like you you leave your comment below okay and also share and I want to thank every of my, every of, uh, uh, every of uh, every one of you that subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I so much appreciate. And don't forget to continue to share if you have subscribed before. If you have not, please do. So we are going to add the butter to it. Oh, sorry. Then we're going to add the yeast. Then we're going to work with our hands. So then you'll be needing water, just one cup and a half of water. So you'll be adding the water little by little. 
that is just all guys so easy so this one will take your memory back home if you remember the agege bread nigeria agege bread if you don't know if you have not heard of agege bread meaning you are not in nigeria this is what you are going to do now and add the remaining water to it so as i said before the description box you will see all the quantity of the ingredients so that i will not be saying it and not really uh, say uh, made a mistake so i want you to go there get the ingredients and i will write the quantity there okay so at this stage we are going to transfer it to the surface okay so i've transferred it to the surface and here we are going to be doing some work we are going to need if you have watched the video of how we did the donut by now you should have known how to know the flour so i put some flour in the surface so you do like this stretch it forward take it in forward and take it in like this like this so we are going to do this for about five minutes so do it properly okay so i have needed it for five minutes you can see and when you now press it like this the dough will rise up again so we are putting it so i just grease my palm my bow i mean with some oil you can use your hand my problem i put it back to this recipe uh, to this bowl then i'm going to use the oil to rub the top so that the dough we have will not get dry at the top okay please we are going to wait again for 30 minutes we are going to cover it with a film and wait for 30 minutes so try follow the process the way i'm doing it now and you're going to get it right okay just seal it that is put it in the warm place put it in the warm place then cover it up with the kitchen towel so we're going to wait the 30 minutes so guys it's 30 minutes so we're going to remove the hair okay you can see that our pan and the dough is so soft so so soft so i'm going to take it to the work to the working surface okay this stage i don't even need to add any flour to the surface so next thing we are going to do is to put it into our our bowl so now what you need to do let's first of all roll one we'll be needing a rolling stick and i'm going to cut it into three try i have two bigger bowl uh, two bigger uh, pan for the bread and one is small so i'm going to to make the small one and this is the two you can even weigh it if you want if you have a scale but to make sure that they are okay so this one is smaller you can see so see to remove let you add to it not to this so that's it so we are going to i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to be using the rolling style to do it roll it out you can see it just like this so smooth guys so you see i did not use any aroma for it i just wanted to have that nigeria butter bread taste so the only aroma that you will get from this is the butter and from the yeast okay so i'm still going to do it a little bit 
So you see, I the I have greased the pan with the butter. I just made it, use it to rub it, and I'm going to put some flour on it. And when you put the flour, you shake it like this. Shake it like this. Like this, okay? Then you dust it away. You can see that? So, that is that. So, as I've rolled this with the with the rolling stick, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be rolling it like this. So, make sure you apply some little and make sure it comes together. See my hand? You draw it back. You draw it back. You draw it back. You draw it back. So that is it. You do it like this. Okay, so what we are going to do again, just wash. So you can see the part that I that rolled last, I put it like this. So I'm going to do it like this. You see? So I'm going to put it into the, the pan. I'm going to put it into the pan. You can see. So that's it. Then we will not leave it to rise. So I'll be doing the rest. So guys, you can see this is the last one that we are going to do. So the first one we do. This is the first one. Then the second one. And this is the third one. So this third one, I'm going to be adding chocolate to it because one of my kids has for it. So see what I do, what I am doing. So I just added it to the fan, to the dough, I mean, before I roll it out. So it's just for everybody to have the taste that we are looking for. So now we are going to roll out. See, you still do it the same way, like this, like this. And just like that so I'm going to do it the same way that I did for the other ones just press it like this and you put it into the bowl okay so then you can now even help with your hands make sure it spreads to the edges like this so that it can have a good shape when it's coming out from the oven. So what we are going to do now, I'm still going to put some oil here to grease it up so that it will not be too dry when doubling the size. See what I do. So that's it guys. So now we are going to cover it up for it to double in size. Okay. So what I, this is just normal bag, a normal rubber bag, this is to cover it. I'm going to leave them here or you can transfer it to your oven. But the temperature here is so high, so I don't need to transfer it to my oven. So I just cover it with this and also use the kitchen towel to make sure it press down. Okay, so we are going to leave it until double in size. Okay. Hello guys, you can see that our buttered bread has doubled in size. You can see I left it here for two hours. You just have to be patient. Okay, now we are going to take it to the oven. So I'm going to be putting it into the oven one after the other. Okay, the temperature of the oven is 170 up and down. 170 up and down. And I'm going to wait for about 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm going 
going to close the oven now. That's it, guys. Guys, our bread is ready. Our Nigerian butter bread is ready. I've removed two. Now, the third one is out. You see how it looks like? You can see it. So now, you can remove it like this. Or you take a knife just to take it out easily. So it's still very hot. You can see our butter bread is hot. You can see that. So what I did, what or you can see this one is more shinier than this. So you have to use butter. So I did not use egg egg wash for this uh, recipe. I because I wanted it to taste butter or truth. Okay, that is our Nigeria authentic butter bread. Please subscribe to my channel. For those of you that have subscribed before, thank you very much. And for those of you that have been watching me, subscribe so that you don't miss any of my video. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut. The other one because it's still very very hot. But both are still very hot. Let's try it. Give it a try. Up. You can see our bread is ready. What did you say about this? See? You see? That's it, guys. And I'm going to cut the one for the special one that my daughter asked for. And see how it looks like. Still very hot. Still hot. You can wait for it to be cold first. Okay. But it's still very hot. You can see. You can see. Look at it. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And leave your comments below. For the ingredients, please check the, 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 the box below and you will find the ingredients there. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Until I see you on my next video. Bye.